Hello internet, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the Ansel, Ansel, Ansel VD500, so this is a cheap um, OBD reader for VAG or maybe a VCDS or VAGCOM alternative. Now these can be picked up on um, AliExpress for about 30 quid. Now obviously if you're going to be doing a lot of work on your um, VW or Audi, I'd probably recommend getting, um, getting the full VCDS software. Now, what, having one of these handy, if you want to quickly um, clear a, a code or um, read an engine code, um, it is quite handy. So, uh, we've got the VW TIG one here. Now, there is actually a airbag light on at the moment. Let's go ahead and put that on. So, at the moment, I've got the airbag fault. Airbag fault. And that is because we um, took out the stereo because i was having some issues with the aux cable and it's because it wasn't plugged into the back correctly now stupid me forgot to unplug the battery when i was doing that so we've got this um airbag light so again um if you're gonna overpay i bought this on amazon for about 50 quid now i only did that because i needed to service the brakes the rear brakes and i had to get the electronic parking brake um to disable um, so that's why I got this and this this works really well for that now for a little bit more maybe another 50 pounds to 100 pounds you could get the full um, VCDS but again I bought this just because I, I needed next day delivery on Amazon and I was desperate to change uh, the rear brakes so again you can find these on like AliExpress or Banggood for about 30 quid I think 30 40 pounds um, anyway enough of me waffling let's go ahead and plug this in Okay, so we just plug it into the normal OBD reader um, underneath the driver's footwell. Can't really see the screen too well. I'm just zoom in on that. Come on, you thing. Okay, so let's go under. Um, let's try common systems. Okay. And then we want. We want airbags. So this should say we've got a fault a fault code so if we go read fault code fault code one indicating first passenger side okay so if we clear that clear fault codes yes we've now seen that our airbag light has gone off so we can exit out of that so again this is quite good if you um just need something cheap to read codes let's say you're doing some sort of um, DIY work and you just need something quick to reset any um, codes like I said I got this airbag code because I um, I was messing around with the stereo and um, sometimes when you're messing with the electronics you don't disengage the battery you will mess you could mess up something like the airbag um, or chuck up a fault code so now if we turn him on I'll see now we don't have any airbag code on there turn him off so that took about what 30 seconds um, and again you don't need to have the full vagcom the full vagcom or vcds um, this thing works quite well so again if you're interested this is the ansel vd 500 there is a slightly better version of this um, which does do a few more features um, but if you're just looking for something basic I'd probably recommend picking one of these up off AliExpress um, or Banggood. Um, again, I probably wouldn't go for the more expensive one because at that, pro at that point, you might as well just be looking at buying the full um, Vagcom or VCDS because obviously this doesn't do any, any coding. But, you know, um, I will throw it up on the screen if you're interested in what this can do. Basically, it's the electronic parking brake. You can put it into service mode. Um, and you can also do the throttle body alignment with this as well on um, the Voldi Audi Group cars. So again, handy bit of kit, cheap, as long as you can pick it up from the right place. All right.